people, 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 good evening, good evening, good evening, you know who it is, Arsenio Buck reporting live from Bangkok, baby, welcome back to the Arsenio Buck Show, I was not live this morning because I had some very wonderfully big things to do this morning and everything turned out as it should, but you know what, I woke up real about 3am, looked at my phone, which is another bad habit, which I've been talking about a lot, and I failed to go back to sleep for the next two hours. Woke up at 5 a.m. I'm like, you know what? I'm on top of the world. I ain't got no problem. And then next, you know, around 1 p.m., I was like, okay, I need some shut eye. So two hours came. I got still have energy right now. I've been listening to a lot of great music that I found on Spotify. So it's been an incredibly efficient and wonderful day, baby. But you know what? I want to get into some questions and answers, man. I really do. I really do, 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 ooh. Because one of my uh, listeners... She hit a hiccup as we always do. And you know what? It's all good because you know what? With these hit with these hiccups, you have to find the 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 little inside of the hiccup to be grateful for. So, for example, guys, this is what happens in life. Cars happen. Things on the materialistic end of our lives happen that we have to attend to. Okay, it could be a car, it could be the house, it could be something went wrong with your dog's leg. Somebody kicked your door in because you didn't pay something. Somebody kicked your door in because you're sexy. It could be anything out there. These things happen, and we have to be prepared for them. So remember when I told you about having an emergency account. Now, it's difficult for some people in different countries, okay? Of course, some of my listeners in Guatemala, it's probably very difficult to have some sort of an emergency account just based on you know, how the economy is there, you know, how much money's being pumped in, what kind of job you have, etc., etc. I understand, people. But just look at it this way. You really have to say, okay, how much can you save per week? Now, remember, the ArsenioBuckShow.com, I actually write some very good blogs on this, okay, in terms of how to save. And remember I told you the story about yesterday. There was a little, there was a young boy that saved $5 a week for three years. That amounted out to, I think, probably about $900 or so. The business he was actually with was getting ready to tank. But you know what? He had $900, which ended up, he ended up buying about 50% of what that company was. And he ended up amassing a fortune. Being prepared for situations and being prepared, and a lot of people would say these aren't opportunities, these are situations, and they suck. Yes, I understand. There was a girl, before I get back on track, there was a girl named Heather. I went to school with Heather back in sixth grade, man. This was 99 to 2000. I was a goddamn kid. I was a baby, man. I had no hair on my face. I was looking good, and I look even better today. But when saying that, there was a girl named Heather. I found her on Facebook probably about seven years ago. And she still looked the same. I think she had a husband. She was in the military, stuff like that. And I remember she posted a status. And the status stuck with me for so long because this status ended up ringing in my ears what was happening with one of my with one of my listeners. Uh, and she was like, you know what? Just when I was saving money and I was beginning to save up money, all of it is gone. Because something came up, some unwanted, obviously, expense that we have to deal with. That's life, guys. First of all, that's life. First, be grateful. Be grateful for having the money. See, a lot of people would say, you know what? I have the money, but it sucks because I have to pay my money for this particular thing. And the thing is, as part of life, and it shows your independence. Now, guys, let's just say it's $100 to fix your car. I remember I got in a big argument with my mom. Because she didn't speak to me for two months until she messaged me one morning. She said, hello, son. How are you? I need money. I need $100 to fix my car. I said, mom, you've been on this planet for a very, very long time. How come you do not have $100 to your name? She said, don't be asking me no questions. I just need the money. I said, I'm barely making $600 a month here. Are you serious? You want me to send you $100 and lose an extra 40 on just to transfer? Selfishness. So that pretty much has split my, my family completely apart because... They thought I was selfish, but I was actually trying to teach them the independence, guys. Emergency funds. How are you able to save save for things like this? Well, these unwanted expenses, they're part of life. 
And having the money to pay for them and not having to borrow money is already something to be grateful for in general. You don't have to go asking someone down the road, hey man, you got any money? Honestly, when you have to ask people for money, that takes away your dignity as a human being. I feel that's me. I don't know about you guys, but that's me. Honestly, if I have to ask somebody for $10, $50, $100, there are two people I would go to, but that's the last resort. And honestly, that will never happen again in my life because I know how to manage my money. No offense to anyone out there who doesn't know how to manage their money. Now, of course, if you're a student, if you're living in a country, you're not making that much money. I understand, understand. But the thing is, you get a check, next thing you know, your car sucks, okay? Now, this is in response to my listener, okay? Car went to shit, okay? <laughs> For the lack of better term. <laughs> okay, actually, the air went to shit. But the thing is, of course, being here in Thailand, if you don't have if you don't have air conditioning in your car, you're going to die, literally, okay? You will die not only from the heat, but from the pollution, too. I mean, the, the, the whatever, okay? That, that's just all an entire different story in its own. But the thing is, listen... For my specific listener, you got the money. You got the money to pay for this car. Hell, you got a car. I don't believe in cars. No, I'm kidding. That's horrible. I believe in helicopters. No, I'm kidding. I don't have a helicopter. But you got the money to pay for the car. Yes, that's going to set you back a little bit in terms of your savings. I understand that. But you got the money to pay for it. What if you didn't have the money to pay for it? See, the thing is, we're always prone as human beings to point out, God damn it, just when I was saving, now I got to pay for this, and I lost my entire check that I really wanted to, it's okay, chill, 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 relax, take a step back, and say, you know what, baby, I got independence, yes, I got to put all this towards this sorry ass car, but the thing, well, I wouldn't say sorry, sorry ass car, no offense to your car, okay, but I'm saying, if you got to put this towards your car, is your car's air conditioner going to be fixed for the next five to ten years, because it's not, if it's not, I wouldn't even do it. I'm like, well, the thing is, she kind of needs it. But it's an investment, okay? And getting a car comes with a lot of risk. There are a lot of things. The pistons could be fried. The, the what is it? The alternator could go out. Engine light comes on. Flat tire. Don't know how to, you know, jack up at anything and, you know, replace your tire. You don't have a spare. You got to wait for roadside assistance. So many different things can happen with the car. But you have the opportunity to pay with your own money at the age you are for your car to be repaired. It's air conditioned. That's a beautiful thing. That shows independence. I want you to go outside your apartment, your house today and go um, and say, I am independent, baby. I'm not going to ask my mother and my father for any help. I am the woman. I am a, a woman. That's something to be grateful for, people. See, a lot of people, man, we have a tendency of always saying, well, this came up, damn it, I got to dig into my savings. That's why I say a lot about emergency funds. Now, of course, you got your savings, emergency funds, you got mutuals too. Now, the thing is, in terms of saving to my specific user, you really need to start looking into banks in your local area. Obviously, Herbie and Ty, you need to go and have a sit down with the financial advisor, dig deep into the mind of that particular individual and see what's the best case scenario because right now you are young. If you start investing little by little, I'm just talking about a little portion of what you make into a mutual fund, when pri- when stuff like this arises, you got no problem. It could be a low-risk mutual. It could be 5-year, 10-year, 20-year. It could be a mutual, long-term, et cetera, et cetera. But if you got a low risk and you start saving up little by little, you're not really worrying so much about the savings because you got your ultimate savings. You understand what I'm saying? So you got your mutual, which is your ultimate savings. It could be a 5, 10, 20-year, whatever it is. Your savings for traveling, booking hotels and stuff, such as what I do. And then you got your emergency fund, okay? What is an emergency fund? For those of you who are listening for the first time, well, an emergency fund is that particular fund that could bail your ass out, okay? Now, if something happens in America with one of my best friends, she's like, oh my God, I'm in the hospital. They're saying that I'm not going to make, I'm going, I have enough money. Yes, I have enough money right now to fly all the way out there to America, to Phoenix, to New York, and to wherever I need to go to visit my folks. And everything's going to be all right. You see, that's an emergency fund. I always keep a bare minimum of 1000 U.S. dollars in my emergency fund just in case stuff gets crazy. For example, 
Right now in Thailand, the north of Thailand, Chiang Mai is becoming flooded out as it always does because no one wants to fix anything. No, I'm kidding. But any, yeah, well, it's the truth. Uh, and so, you know what's going to happen? These dams are going to start piling up with a lot of water. And the water's going to get higher and higher and higher. And if they do not release the water accordingly, what's going to happen? Well, what happened six years ago? This complete, this province that I'm in right now was completely inundated between two to six months, up to two meters high. We're talking, oh my God, I don't even know. Oh my God, we're talking, God damn it, we're talking two floors of water. Dead dogs, dead crap, all that crazy stuff. See, I need to be prepared. I need to be prepared in advance to say, okay, this is going to happen. Okay, I got enough money. I'm going to go to Vietnam and go teach or go do something. Or I'm going to go back home to America and start, you know, building up my business and meeting people and working out and doing this and doing that. There's a lot of different things I could do. You see, always have that emergency fund in place when things get rough. If floods happen, I'm secured. If something happens to one of my best folks back home, I'm secured. And that's a great thing. And yes, the thing is, what's going to come to mind right now? Oh, Damn, I'm going to have to spend my emergency fund. Oh, wait, it's an emergency fund. Yes, I'm going to spend between one and two thousand U.S. dollars for whatever time it is or whatever the emergency is or for whatever the event is. But at the same time, I'm grateful because I actually have the money to do that. Not many people in the world do. That's always something to be grateful for. Be grateful for having that money. At your age and being independent as you are. Yes, your car went to shit. For the lack of a better term, your car went to shit. The AC is gone. You're going to pay for it. It's going to work. You're going to have a cool breeze AC. And the thing is, yes, your savings, well, I guess that was your emergency fund. It's okay. It's okay. Because you know what? When that, well, it's not necessarily opportunity, but when the situation came, you were able to handle it. 90% of the people in the world cannot even handle it. People who are unfortunately in the Middle East who are succumbing to all of this craziness that's happening out there, they're not able to handle those situations. They just have to face fate, unfortunately. So there's always a way to be grateful in any situation, okay? So I really hope that helped you. I told you I was going to make a podcast for you, and so I made it for you. If you guys got any questions in terms of saving or anything else, you can get on to the ArsenioBuckShow.com. You can stay sexy, look sexy, do what you want, what what you want to do, okay? Although that makes absolutely no sense, but I am the man, and I tell it how I see it. So with that being said, people, I got some great news coming up. This podcast is going to launch again at 3 a.m. I'm just going to test it one more time and see how it works. But again, that's a it's a very it's very very good news. And you know what's about worrying, and it's about a book, and it's about one of my favorite authors. So, with that being said, stay tuned for the next podcast. I got two coming up probably within the next 12 hours. Yes, two in 12 hours. So you guys are going to have a lot of fun out there. Any questions? You know how to get in contact with your boy. And until then, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, the sexy dark chocolate man. Over and out.